All right, so if you clicked on the video and you're like at Walmart, because I have somebody said that to me before when they were looking up at a Walmart or wherever for a product or wherever and they saw my video review before, um, do not get this item. I'm just gonna tell you straight up. Spoiler alert, whatever you wanna do, you can go ahead and click off the video or leave it running in the background uh, to help your boy out with watch time, drop a like on a video or something like that. If you are interested to see why not to waste 20 bucks on this, um, then God bless your soul because this video is just, it's it's been uh, very, very disappointing. Um, but again, do not get these. You can find these Govee wall lights or wherever for, for 50 bucks or wherever without the right angle connections or wherever. And Govee and on Amazon and on their website always has sales and stuff like that. You don't have to get the right angle connectors because those do cost a little bit more. But I got a pair of six of these, which is like literally in the box that comes with everything you need. You have the customization of the default presets or wherever from the from the actual company or wherever, which there is a whole bunch. And then on top of that, you can DIY like I've done here wherever for your own uh, color scheme. Uh, this, I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't even know how they're able to sell this in Walmart, especially for 20 bucks. Uh, here's the rest of the review. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Squid Ed Joe. I do wanna say special thanks to my wife for kind of bringing these items to my attention. Um, I have covered Walmart stuff in the past, but unfortunately the one that's nearest to me doesn't have a lot of these other items or wherever that you can find at multiple web, well, I would say Walmarts or wherever, even on their website. Um, when I looked it up, I was like, dang, I didn't know they had all these. Um, so definitely if you have multiple Walmarts, I would say that's near to you and a relatively uh, I would say reasonable distance from you or wherever, definitely check out multiple ones because some of these items I might list today or talk about or wherever um, in future videos, because I do have other items from Walmart, um, they might be at those other locations, just not the one that's nearest you. The one that we're going to be talking about today is a company that I have covered previously on the channel. Those older videos, one of them is not really that good. And or I would say two of them were really not that good is when I first started doing product reviews. And another one is about a little light or wherever that I sometimes use for product shots and stuff like that. Um, I will link those in the description, but I've talked about Vivitar before uh, in the past and those videos covered their items. Now, Vivitar is a really weird company. Um, they turn off their comments on their YouTube videos or wherever all the time. Their reviews somewhat look um, a little bit suspicious or wherever I would say on Walmart as far as giving positive reviews and stuff like that. Um, but this one is a little bit interesting to me because if it can work, I would say genuinely for somebody's gaming room or like their live streams or wherever and they don't want to pay a premium price, but they could still get somewhat decent lights then this might be for you. They do have uh, these tube lights or whatever, but they're from a popular brand, which is Govee, and they're actually behind me right now. I took one off uh, right here or wherever for a comparison for the video today. Um, but I've used these things for a long time. Usually the ones without the, I would say the right angle on um, Amazon or wherever, it's a little bit cheaper than their actual, um, I would say the ones with the right corners wherever on Amazon or the website. Um, so if you want the ones without the little corner bracket or wherever, they're right now around $50 um, on their store or um, on Amazon, anywhere you pretty much look, they're usually floating around $50. That Gobi does tend to run a lot of sales that are on their website. Sometimes you can find the same sales on Amazon, but definitely check between the two because one might have a little bit more often the others or wherever. But right now, even with the right angle brackets uh, ones, that's the price you're looking at. Uh, Vivitar, however, is showing that up for uh, $20 right now. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into some differences with, I would say, the lights or wherever. So you get the box, you know, it gets obviously a six pack. It does come with corner pieces, which, you know, bare bones, uh, the Gobi ones, like I said, I have does not come with the connection pieces. These are the Gobi ones. Um, as you can see, I've had these uh, adhesives or wherever on the back of them wherever for a long time and i've been using these for a long time um the govi ones do come in a pack of six as well but no right angle connection um so you just pretty much slot them in here and you stack them together and it's like a split y cable and you plug it into the wall and then you you know put the bars however far apart whatever you want to do um there's multiple variations like i said there's multiple packs that have multiple uh, right angle connections um there's even one that's even more expensive but it's supposed to be towards more of a music reaction kind of thing wherever on your wall that thing is super expensive from Gobi. 
um, but it's just a whole bunch of these or whatever connected and you can make steps I would say like as far as uh, equalizer kind of bars and stuff with them and everything they're really cool I thought about getting them in the past but now I just go with these curtain lights um, this one is the one from uh, Walmart I did want to pull this one out by itself because the connection is actually sliding back and forth um, which is not supposed to and that's the way it sounds um, just for comparison all the other ones don't have that sound or whatever it's just this one and I pulled it out I was like oh it's rattling um, I'm gonna tell you straight off the bat just holding these I'm gonna put this one to the side since it's messing up um, straight off the bat it does it feels like you know like a $10 thing or whatever um, it's not really impressive at all you can see um, within probably right here this is where the adhesion this is where the light is in heast I, I would say to the back of this whereas you can see that that is a straight up govi light strip um, just cut up in sections and then obviously powered through a different connector or wherever inside here but as you can see it's a full-on i would say gobi type strip or wherever in there um and then obviously those connection pieces whereas this it's just like a little bit of double-sided tape or wherever but really cheap brand cut type of thing which again i'm not really surprised um i am surprised at this being 20 dollars. i just the feel of it and unpacking and looking at everything i know it's somewhat of a unique rgb system but i would say this probably should be $15 or $10. Um, this is probably why, like I said, Vivitar as a company is kind of suspicious with the practices and stuff they do. So I'm gonna hook this thing up back to the wall. We're gonna hook it up right here, the Vivitar section or wherever, and see uh, what the results are. So right out of the box, I don't think I mentioned it when I was unboxing it or whatever, but right out of the box, you get four of the poles, you get these two angles right here, and you get this and uh that's pretty much it you get a whole bunch of uh connections or wherever to you know connect the different ones whereas govi's system is just slotting the poles together um this one you have to do a little bit more work to connect them um and then to hang on the wall you get these again another cheap double-sided adhesive um with these i would be very 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 i can't stress it enough very careful about placing it on your walls uh this is around 20 bucks you could probably hear the creakiness or whatever i'm not sure if it's getting picked up on the mic again i'm not really sure how this company can get away selling this for 20 bucks it's very 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 weird it feels like almost it should be against the law kind of thing um this is something that i would expect to be in one of those old school uh, crane games or wherever when you were able to pick prizes out and maybe sometimes you get like a random piece of technology i, I don't know like a one of those weird little drones or wherever for your phone or something like that or like maybe a small little monster truck you know those kind of like crane games not the stuffed animal ones um this feels like that would be included in this and you maybe you know you spent a dollar or a couple quarters or wherever to get it that's what this feels like um i've spent a lot of time in arcades while growing up so uh, that's the best way i could equate it to um definitely not worth 20 bucks um and i can tell already just before I fire it up or wherever that this is going to uh, look pretty bad. So here's hoping, fingers crossed. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the power button and see what we get. Um, I just noticed on the remote itself, dude, this just gets, get, keeps getting worse and worse. There is no um, brightness gain on this at all. I mean, it has voice control somehow. I'm not sure. I didn't see, oh, I see a little mic or whatever on the power supply. So it has that at least. Um, I'm gonna turn off my studio light because you can see Gobi has no problem with showing up. But um, as you can see, I guess it's somewhat bright uh, with no key light or something like that. So there you go. Um, auto, what does that do? Oh, it's just like a color green spectrum. Like I, I really, only have one little key light and then a full light off the side and the saturation like you can barely tell when it's like yellow or anything like that like it's switching from yellow red pink or wherever and only color that you can really see on camera is blue all right so the remote actually does work um there's a little bit delay here's the audio i would say settings um again we're just switching through the color spectrum 
um, as just a normal fade. It goes from whatever direction or whatever through. As you can see, some colors are a little bit more accurate than others. Here's the voice control. Um, you probably can't really tell, so I'm just going to type on the Mac, the mic or wherever. Um, it's just flipping through. It's not really too impressive, I would say. Um, there is multiple voice options, though, if that is something that you're interested in. Um, this is moving rainbow color. See, even this is not really color accurate and it's not going to show up on camera too well. Um, obviously, you have the little actual colors that I've sh probably showed off before. Um, here's mode one. It's a rainbow color. Uh, here's mode two, which is just one little bar of the rainbow color uh, showing. Um, here is a, I guess, unique way of a fade or whatever for the color spectrum. This is mode four, just a regular, I would say, steady flow of colors. Um, here's mode five with red and white. There's no other options. It's just red and white. Here's mode six um, with the color spectrum just chasing after each other. Um, here's mode seven. It's just, you know, the different colors. Here's mode eight with you know primarily i would say red in there mixed in with a, all the other colors but that long parts are obviously red um and then you have a four hour six hour eight hour timer based on whatever one you pick and then you have time off to turn off those and then you have music modes which is just the different audio portions or whatever so it's pretty much the same thing which i don't understand maybe if you want to go to that specific one instead of using verse control voice control and just have that pattern but it, it's literally the same so i don't know here you go these are really really basic really really bad led strips that are in here um that's literally what's holding it back if you know how to get in here and change them up or whatever but still have the functionality of your own led strip then you can do that but at that point why not just go ahead and get 50 dollars like it, it just doesn't make any sense so again avoid these but this thing there's no way they did to vivitar you, you, you this is this is a no this is a no um hopefully you guys enjoyed the the b-roll i'm not sure at this point what i can do to really show this off again if you're gonna spend 20 dollars on this i would save up and just go with the govi you have so many different options within their uh i would say within their actual app and on top of that, you have a way of um, doing your own DIY with, with this. You only have a remote and you can't even adjust the brightness like. <laughs> yeah, this is this is probably a return. Um, when I say probably I'm returning this uh, tomorrow because it's already like, yeah, it's already super late at night. So as soon as Walmart will be open up, I will be there with this at the door. I can tell you right off the bat. Um, to avoid the company Vivitar. Um, this is probably the last thing I will ever review from this company. This is like the third or fourth thing I have uh, reviewed or whatever, or at least purchased from this company. And it's been uh, nothing but a disappointment and a waste of money. So with that being said, y'all take care. Have a squid test day. God bless you and yours. And deuces everybody. Much love.